Kerith Kids. Welcome to this week's episode of Kids TV. Did you know there are only 20 sleeps till Christmas? So, oh, well, yeah, but oh, it's exciting. On with this week's episode. Hello, boys and girls. My name's Jo, and I'm from Farnborough Kerith. And I'm going to tell you a really special story today. It's all about when baby Jesus was born. So get yourself sitting comfortably and I'll begin. So I'm going to start with talking and telling you about Mary. Now Mary, one day, she was really, really busy at her house. She was cooking and cleaning and doing all of her jobs. When suddenly, an angel appeared. He was just standing there. <gasps> Mary was so surprised. She had never, ever seen an angel before. Don't be frightened, Mary, the angel said. I have brought you an important message. God has chosen you to have a very special baby. The baby boy will be God's own son. Mary was puzzled. Well, what about my wedding, she said. The angel smiled. Don't worry, God knows all about that. Then the angel disappeared. Mary thought about the message the angel had brought. God's son would soon be born and she had been chosen to be his mother. <gasps> How amazing! Mary sang happily as she worked. What would Joseph say when he heard her news? But Mary didn't have to worry about that because Joseph had already had a dream and an angel had told him, yes, it's true. Mary is going to have a very special baby. The baby is God's own son. You must call him Jesus. Joseph loved Mary so much. He was so happy to marry her and help her look after the special baby. Now, the Roman Empire wanted to find out how many people lived in the country where Mary and Joseph lived. So he ordered everybody to travel back to the place where they were from. So Joseph and Mary had to go on a very, very long journey back to a small town called Bethlehem. Mary was very tired. She had a great big tummy and she had to ride on a donkey the whole way to Bethlehem. And when they got there, lots and lots of other people had got there first, so there was no room in any of the hotels. Oh, oh no, what were they going to do? They were so tired and everybody was saying, no, no room here. You can't stay here with us. We've got no beds or nowhere for you to sleep. So they were beginning to get a bit scared and thinking, what are we going to do? And then a very, very kind man said to Mary and Joseph, you can come in a stable. So do you know what a stable is? A stable is where all of the animals live, just like these. And you can stay inside the stable. So I think it must have been a little bit smelly and not very nice, but it was at least somewhere for them to go and have baby Jesus. Very soon, baby Jesus was born and Mary wrapped him up warm, to, wrapped him up to keep him warm. And Joseph had to make a soft bed out of hay. Here's my baby Jesus. Look, all wrapped up nice and warm. Mary and Joseph were so excited. Jesus had been born. Wow, what an amazing job God had asked Mary to do. I wonder how she felt carrying baby Jesus in her tummy. He came into the world because of her. 
Mary said she would do whatever God had asked her to do. And she helped to bring that special gift, the most special gift of all into this world. Now look at all my nice sparkly presents here under the tree. I love receiving presents at Christmas. Well, Jesus may have been born in a stinky, smelly stable, but whether our gifts are in fancy packages, looking all sparkly and nice like this, or they're in a stinky stable, it's not the outside that matters the most, but the gift inside. And of course, any gift that you receive will never, ever be as good as the gift as the gift God gave to us all. Jesus is the best gift ever.
Oh, wasn't that a great episode of Kids TV? Remember, only 20 more sleeps. Oh, I wish I'd have been an angel in Bethlehem. That would have been so exciting. Bye.